Hey folks, today we're going to be talking about everyday carry or EDC. EDC, for those of you new to the world of prepping, is simply a collection of items you carry with you on a regular basis that can help you out in certain situations. This is the Urban Sentinel, and let's get into it. Now there's a lot of buzz around EDC gear, but today we're going to focus on the basics and what type of essential items you may need. And by no means is this an exclusive list of things that you can carry or that you should only have on you. Everything like your clothing needs to be uh, effectively tailored to the environment that you're going to be in. This is my daily carry pouch. I keep pretty much the core essential items that I know I'm going to need. So inside this pouch, I've got small flashlight. This is actually brand new. It's my Gerber pry Brid. I swap that out for a pocket knife. I keep a pen. I also have a small composite notebook inside. And then on the back end, this pouch has a zippered pocket. Open it up inside. I've got a little rough and ragged, a small first aid kit, nothing fancy at all. It's basically a couple of band-aids, gauze pad, some uh, antiseptic wipes. And the only other thing I really did in here is inside this foil, I kept my uh, small supply of medical tape for when I actually do need to wrap something up. It's nonstick um, aluminum foil with the tape strips put on it. So this way I can peel it off and utilize it as I need to. Now there's a wide array of gear items that you can utilize. Now this for me is something that I've managed to whittle down over the years, trial and error. I've gone through different size flashlights, pocket knives, multi-tools, different size pens, notepads, all that sort of stuff. But it comes down to the core essentials of what I use on a regular basis. And I have heard the arguments that if you don't use it on a daily basis, then you really don't need to carry it. You can say that that is true to one extent, but these are things that you know that you do tend to use more often. I carry a notepad and pen on me because while I may have my cell phone to use, I'm more apt to jot something down with pen and paper than I am to pull out my phone, open up an app that I can leave the notes in and then still have to remember that I wrote it down in that app, find it, and then proceed from there. Flashlight is still something that I utilize on a regular basis. As I've said before, I do have other items. I have a multi-tool that depending upon what I'm doing, I tend to have that on me because it's quick and easy for me to utilize instead of carrying a small toolkit. And you can go overboard with a lot of stuff. You can become a sort of a pack rat or you end up walking around like Batman with a utility belt that has every single conceivable tool that you think you may need on you. But realistically, you focus on what you do on a normal basis. My day in and day out uh, functions, I don't need to carry a full toolkit with me. I don't need to carry a full medical trauma kit or anything else like that. So I have it pared down just to the bare minimums of what I would use. So with that being said, you have to understand what your personal environment is, the things that you do on a regular basis. I can give you an example. Let's say you live in an area in California. You have wildfires. Sure, having a full mask respirator and a tank of oxygen could be beneficial should there be a wildfire burning five, 10 miles away and smokes billowing through the area, but that's not realistic and that's not practical. But having a bandana and perhaps having a small bottle of uh, eye wash could be because you can wet the bandana, tie it around your face and use the eye wash to help rinse out your eyes from any of the smoke debris. So something like that might be something you consider to have with you in an everyday carry situation. And while yes, a lot of what you see when you search EDC mostly focuses on carrying firearms or other items for self-defense, which again, that is indicative to your environment and what you believe your personal needs are. Now, I do carry a firearm and that is part of my EDC as an overall whole, but there are also times and places where I am not permitted to have a firearm on me. So again, I don't focus one single part of my EDC around just one item. Every single part, just like your clothes that you wear for the weather that it is outside, whatever the season is, is what you adapt to. And with what the pack that I showed you, that slips into my back pocket, that effectively I have on me 
all the time. Everything else that I may carry, I swap out. So I might have a, another folding knife on me or the multi-tool on me. I might have my firearm on me. I might have something else. It all depends upon what the situation is, where I'm going, what I could reasonably expect to encounter through the day. And most people will tell you day in and day out, you know, sunrise to sunset, you don't have any issues where you are immediately needing to use your everyday carry items every single day. Once or twice during the week, maybe once a week, it all depends upon what it is. But it's that choice that you have to make going through the different items that are available to you and what you can carry. Because as I said before, you might be able to load up with everything that you believe you need and you're carrying a small duffel bag worth of gear. If that's gonna be your everyday carry and you're comfortable with that and it's something that you know that, hey, I wanna have all these things on me, then good on you, that's what you can do. Even to the extent of what I have is I have small items in certain areas. I have my vehicle bag, which keeps certain items in a bag in my vehicle. So if I need to, I can go there. So I have a larger first, kit, first aid kit in there. I have other tools, other things I need in my vehicle. When I go to work, I have a cooler that I bring. I've got my food, my drink, but I also, again, have some certain level of redundancy. I've got another first aid kit and other items I keep inside that. So I'm never completely without, but I don't necessarily have to bring everything with me every time I go any place at all. So that is the real thing with EDC is picking the items that you need to use or that you most likely will use. And then it goes to the next step, which is understanding how to use them. Having an item, having a piece of gear, having fancy technology is great, but if you don't have the skill, if you don't have the practice, if you don't have the understanding of when you need to use it and how to do it properly, it's pretty much pointless. It's just a showpiece at that point. So that again is something you take into account. Buying an item and carrying it and it looks great, you feel comfortable and confident that you've got this new thing but if you don't know how to use it, if you don't know how to effectively make the most of it, and also too, how it works with the rest of your gear, everything to one extent or another should have some type of complementary benefit to it. If possible, having multiple items on you that all in succession can perform many numerous tasks to help you out. I mean, a flashlight is an obvious thing. You can also have a lighter. It's not as good for illumination, but you may be in a situation where you either eat a need to start a fire or even if you need to do something simple as uh, fusing two pieces of uh, cordage together from let's say a paracord or you need to use that in an emergency situation to sterilize a needle or a blade of your utility knife because you have to do some type of emergency medical situation small little things like that can link together to give you an overall package that within your edc kit makes it more beneficial for you now, as I said earlier in the video, I can run through a list of different items that people have. I mean, you can start with the basics, a pocket knife, a multi-tool, a fixed blade knife, a folding knife. You've got pen lights and small flashlights. You've got uh, micro LED sticks. You've got uh, mini lighters. You've got regular lighters. You've got all these different things. You've got small first aid trauma kits that have tourniquets in them, and they've got, you know, hemostat pads and everything else to handle gunshot wounds and deep punctures and lacerations to basic band-aids and, you know, a few bits of gauze here and there. You can have a notepad. You can have your cell phone, which, you know, for a lot of people, the cell phone is part of their everyday carry. Uh, people that drive, you know, car keys are part of the everyday carry. Small little things that you don't really think about also are part of that EDC. Even my wallet, you know, it's with me all the time. And for the most part, you know, it's just a simple wallet, but even with inside, I've got a small EDC tool built into it that I can utilize in certain situations if I need to. All of these things you incorporate, you can run down the list from A to Z of all the different things that you do through your day. And then you start narrowing down what you have and what you need. And of course, again, it comes down to how are you gonna carry it? Are you gonna carry it on body with you? Are you going to have it in a separate bag? Is this bag gonna be something that you are going to consciously remember to pick up and bring with you every place you go? Or is it gonna be a situation where you start going through your day and you realize, oh, I forgot my kit and now I've gotta go back for it. You know, what are you looking to do? Your situation is what you tailor the EDC to first. And there are gonna be many times where you think to yourself, oh, 
I could have used this, but I didn't have it, or I didn't need to use this. I could have used this instead. And that happens. And like I said before, my EDC, I, it's a constant evolution. I've got tons of items that I've used, and then I've swapped out for other items. Sometimes it's simply, I go smaller, I go lighter. Other times I split it up. Maybe I don't need to carry this larger multi-tool. I can get away with a smaller multi-tool or a simple pocket knife, depending upon what the situation is. Other items I have have integrated tools in them, or they have got flashlights built into them. Whatever the situation is, that's where you need to focus, is narrowing down those items and then working it from there, what you are most likely going to need when that particular situation arises. So remember, choose the gear you need based upon the practicality and the purpose of that gear and your potential to use it in a certain situation that you may encounter. Keep it simple, but keep it versatile. This way you have options, and that's the key thing. Always want to have options because you're never 100% positive what situation you're going to end up in. That's all I got for you, and I'll catch you in the next one.